What's going on, people? Charles Baxley here. Username Digital Screen CMB. What's up? This is another expanding cosmic conversation for everybody to listen to and watch and whatnot. I like to do these every once in a while. They're kind of like mental plots for me, the way I was thinking about certain questions and certain ideas that were just interesting and they just rise with a bunch of other questions. This is the whole point in the thing, is I come up with these wacky ideas, just throw out there to get you thinking, and then I want somebody to uh, respond to them, elaborate on an idea that I had, um, use it as a metaphor or a simile as another idea that you had. It took me a minute to do this one because I really wanted to make it something interesting, like uh, the Big Bang. What happens if everything we know at the Big Bang is really just our perspective? Like, what happens on the other side of the Big Bang? What? What happens if the Big Bang was just our perspective? On this side of the Big Bang, we saw it as a singularity. But on the other side, what happens if it was a black hole or a wormhole transferring matter from that universe to this universe? Man, I'm going to need rerun. Rewind that. A black hole or a wormhole transferring matter from that universe to this universe. Think of this. Imagine our universe. Our universe here. And then, at a certain point, it's connected to another universe. So we have a multiverse of different universes, parallel universes, if you will. And the only difference in that universe than our universe, it had too much matter and we didn't have no matter. Maybe it had too much matter in a certain area, like in a galaxy where matter became so dense that it became infinite and started a black hole and a wormhole was created. You know, planets and suns and stars, it started pouring through it and the data, all the matter that came through it got rearranged and resituated and broke down to core elements. Just the idea. Maybe on that side it was a massive black hole sucking in stuff from this galaxy. And on the other side of the wormhole is a single singularity in which the matter spewed out from. Maybe it's really a two-sided event. Maybe as that stuff gets pulled through, it gets broken down to its core elements and then rearranged and spit out the other side and we saw it as the Big Bang. Maybe that's the reason why there's a lot of hydrogen in our universe because low mass stars are more dominant. There's a lot more low mass stars than high mass stars. We know this. So maybe in that universe it's the same way and maybe there was a lot more low mass stars around this event than the high mass stars. There was a bunch of suns and white dwarfs and whatnot. A lot of hydrogen based stars that came through the wormhole. Maybe the reason why our space, our universe is expanding is because we're inside a black hole of another universe. We're in that black hole and it's growing because it's collecting more mass. So we're growing. Maybe we're in that envelope, that unknown envelope inside a black hole. Maybe inside our black holes, like the Milky Way galaxy, Andromeda galaxy, they have supermassive black holes. Maybe inside those black holes there's a wormhole to another universe. Maybe there's our universe and then another universe, and then another universe. They're all connected. What? Maybe we live in a giant multiverse. Just the idea, just the crazy theory that I had, I was pondering. I hope it inspires somebody to think about this, because it's a different concept of what, you know, a lot of people think of. There's a universe, one universe, this is everything. There's nothing outside our universe. I mean, 
don't know. I just, it doesn't seem right to me. Seems like there's a lot more. I don't know, the Big Bang only seemed like halfway done. I mean, sure, from our side, we see a bang, too. But, on the other side, what do they see? Or what would we see if we were on that side of the perspective? I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment, post a video. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.